Hello, my name's Pete. I play percussion for Kaleidoscope Orchestra. We've just had the call to arms, uh, an email from Rhiannon to do with the next lockdown video project. Obviously we're coming out of lockdown now, so I think this is, might be one of the last ones that we do. But yeah, I just thought I'd walk you through my process. So I guess first things first is to have a look at the part. So we get a Dropbox link that they send to us. I'll download the part. My part will be in here somewhere. Percussion P. I see some clash symbols, which are my favorite things. Save to files. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, triangle. Yes. A uh, bit of suspended symbol. Please no Glock. Please no Glock. Please no Glock. Yeah, there's no Glock. Sweet, 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 sweet. Oh, a bit of tambourine as well. Okay, this is going to be a fun one. <laughs> So the next thing I'll have to do is get the room I'm in ready because if you look there's a drum kit currently in the middle of this room, there's microphones kind of already plugged in everywhere. Okay so now that I've got a uh, suspender symbol and clash symbol set up, I can now go into the cupboard of dreams uh, <laughs> and find the instruments that I need. So I need a tambourine. Uh, this cupboard is cool because it's just literally right next to uh, where I play. Okay, so the next thing that we do is I'm going to download the click track. I like to use Reaper, but let's just turn on this. This is cool. Watch this. Ooh, nice. So we're going to add three microphones, um, which I'll label in a minute. And then basically, if you look, I've got a few interfaces. I've got a nice preamp down there. We're not going to use that today. Uh, obviously, there's loads of cables everywhere, but it, you know, it's slightly chaotic, but there is a method in my madness. Okay, so what Steve will have sent us will have the click already on, and yeah, it'll have drums and bass and loads of different things. So let's have a listen. Here we go. So I think this is Bon Jovi. Nice. Okay, so yeah, let's get cracking to the next bit. Okay, so now the project's set up. I'm going to test all the levels. So if you see, you can see some red faders kind of moving. Basically, I'll just grab some sticks. I'll just put it on to record. So just control R. And then what I tend to do is I just tend to kind of make... And if you look on the screen, that looks quite quiet. So maybe we can move them up a bit. And then we can also test out a uh, tambourine. Here we go. So let's have a look. Yeah, that probably needs to come up as well. And then the last thing is I'll test these out, but I guess you'll just have to wait and see those because I can't do them by holding a phone and also playing uh, at the same time. So recently I invested in this cool piece of kit which is called like an air turn or it's like the Amun uh, kind of version of it and basically it means that I can use my iPad to read the music and then click the air turn and it kind of turns the page. So let's see whether we can demonstrate that. Okay and then if you look I can turn the page with the pedal. Go back. Cool. So the only thing really to do now is go and get changed into some cool clothes, which is all blacks for Kaleidoscope. I've actually got a t-shirt as well, which I'll wear. You should get one. And yeah, I've also got these cool lights in the background that are come on. So just trying to make the room kind of look cool. So the video looks good. So what I tend to do now is I tend to just kind of mess around with the angle. Uh, I guess when I'm standing up as well, you kind of want to be able to see my head as well as the instruments. Uh, yeah, so this looks pretty good. So I've got some over ear headphones that I generally tend to wear. So yeah, let's just see what happens. Yeah, thanks for watching, enjoy.